My new book is called Bigger Fish to Fry, and in it I present an anthropological theory of cooking. I came to write it after over 30 years of research on the Greek island of Calypso. I think I've always been interested in food. Even as a child, I wanted to taste everything, and I found the process of cooking fascinating. But I really got interested in food in Greece because people on the island made such a strong connection between food and memory. Whenever somebody would offer me food, they would often add the phrase "eat so that you remember Kalimnos." So in my first book on food, I tried to look at some of the aspects of Greek culture that made the connection of food and memory so much stronger than it is, let's say, in the United States. I looked at things like how people would offer food to neighbors in memory of their dead relatives, and the rather striking idea that you should be generous with food even after you've died. In my second book, Secrets from the Greek Kitchen, I moved to study everyday cooking practices as a kind of valuable knowledge. Whether we were talking about how to cut an onion or how to roll out phyllo dough, it was knowledge that sometimes was shared, but often was kept secret, even within families. I really wanted to challenge the idea that cooking is an abstract process and really show how. You learn cooking with your body and all of your senses in learning the secrets that make you a good cook on Kalimnos, and often which take a whole lifetime to learn. Now in bigger fish to fry, I make an argument about the importance of understanding all of the contingencies that life throws at you on a daily basis as key to what makes cooking cooking. I also use this. To criticize some of the culinary perfectionism that's so much part of our popular discourse about cooking, I also argue that every time you make a dish, you both create something new and reproduce something from the past, which is why we can use cooking as a model for all aspects of continuity and change in daily life. So this book really represents the culmination of my research on Kalimnos and my desire to make cooking and anthropological theory speak to each other. I hope you enjoy it.